Listen closely now, pay attention. I will play you two sounds. If you have uh, earphones, put them on. Okay, ready? First sound. A cow, huh? Okay, let's hear the second sound. Again, a cow. Yeah, that's right, no extra points for that. But did you notice the difference? Probably not, but there is one, a very important difference. The, the first moo is, well, just a cow saying moo. The second one is a cow in estrus, so time for insemination. Very important information for the farmer, otherwise uh, no calves, no milk. With uh, simple microphones and machine learning technologies, they have achieved 94% accuracy in uh, understanding the difference between one moo and another. Today's topic is uh, not horny cows, but the future of health. Today I'm in Zurich to speak at a leadership conference about artificial intelligence in healthcare. If you want to know more about the, the cows, I'll uh, leave a link to the case in the description down below and you can check it out. This is just one out of many examples uh, telling us how machine learning and AI can help us improve healthcare in the future. Okay, cows aside, let's uh, talk about us and death. Uh, I mean, after all, death is uh, the most unhealthy you can get. It's uh, the ultimate opposite of health. So why do we die if, if not from old age? Well, if we die from health problems, especially in this part of the world, these health issues uh, have one thing in common. Heart disease, uh, cancer, these conditions depend on early detection for successful treatment and, uh, and survival. Of course, healthcare is much more than just screenings and detections, but let's focus on that for a while. The most common form of cancer among women is breast cancer. Two million new cases detected each year globally. And uh, to avoid this, as you know, millions of women worldwide go and do mammograms, uh, breast x-rays. And then experts, radiologists, they study these x-rays to, to find problems. But just like with the cows, this is a very difficult task. And um, the scorecard, even among professionals, isn't that impressive, to be honest. On average, during a 10-year period, 50%, half of the women screened, will get what is referred to as a false positive. And as you know, in screening, nothing positive about getting a positive. A false positive is very costly, first and, and foremost for, for the individual who now have a cancer diagnosis, all the suffering and agony, uh, new treatments, maybe biopsy or even chemotherapy. And then of course a, a false positive is a huge problem from a, from a cost perspective. If we want great healthcare for everybody, then of course we can't afford to spend half the budget on people who frankly don't need it. This is where machine learning and AI and all these new technologies is starting to look very interesting. A growing number of tech companies are now using AI to try to get better at uh, reading breast cancer screenings. There is even uh, an annual competition, the Digital Mammography Challenge. Uh, last year, more than 1,200 organizations and corporations participated. One of these programs, I'll link to it below as well, they proved 99% accuracy in detecting breast cancer from these uh, screening results. And uh, they did it at a speed of 30 times faster than human beings. So 99% correct, 30 times faster. Sounds like a no-brainer, huh? It's quite obvious how computers will change the world of detection. I mean, we're talking pattern recognition, small details, nuances, and then putting it all together in a, in a huge memory data bank that never forgets anything. Of course, no doctor in the world could ever compete with a computer at doing that. Oh my God, does this mean that all the doctors will be unemployed? We don't need them anymore? I don't think so. But I do think that doctors finally will be able to spend their time with patients who actually do need them. If we have faster handling and uh, 
much better accuracy and uh, more efficient healthcare. To me, this all sounds like a good reason for a happy and healthy move. What do you say? Do you get scared by things like AI or smart machines or do you see opportunity? Please share your comments or thoughts in the section below. And as always, if you like these short speeches about future trends, then hit subscribe and I'll see you in the future.